The most valuable thing in all the earth today is the little bride of Jesus Christ wherever she is. Everything that is in God, he has poured into her. You tell me if she's valuable. She may not be perfect in herself, but she's not meeting the bridegroom in her own clothes. She's meeting him dressed in robes of his righteousness and covered with the cloaks of salvation. Hallelujah. She's not getting her water out of a broken cistern either. She's down there drawing up water. Hallelujah. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw waters from the well, the wells of salvation. She's getting her joy from her source. He is Yeshua, which means salvation. The wells of Yeshua, the wells of salvation. That's where our joy comes from. But it doesn't always fall on us automatically. Therefore, with joy shall they draw water. From the, with joy. With joy. When you make joy your demonstration, the Lord will show up. But when he shows up at the appearing of your joy... He will turn this thing around and your enemy shall be put to shame. Now I want you to know if there's no other reason to wear joy, if there's no other reason to display joy, that could possibly be a pretty good reason. Because when the Lord shows up and he's not showing up because your enemy is sending him, he's showing up because you are choosing to keep your heart right and you're choosing to keep your a focus turned in his direction. And when your joy begins to come forth anyhow, anywho, when your joy begins to move forth, he will come. He will come to your joy. He will appear to your joy. And when he does, th those enemies who plotted against you, they shall be put to shame. Now you tell me if joy ought to be tucked in your pocket. No, you ought to wear it around your neck.